Hey guys, also welcome to another video on my Kamal Double Eight, and this is your transfer daily video. Now, the January transfer window is within two days away, it's New Year's Eve coming up, so the transfer window will be opening, but there are a lot of developments from news outlets and sources, etc. Reporters, yesterday it was around midnight, however, I couldn't record because it's just way too late. It was one in the morning, I was quite tired, and also it just wasn't possible for me to upload, but now is a perfect opportunity to upload. Now, I've been on social media, I've been looking at what people are saying, you know, what the fan base, the, generally what the Chelsea community believe, if it's the right deal, is it a deal that we should be going for? But before I do give my opinions on each of these stories, I'm going to be obviously giving you what the developments have been, been saying. So, firstly, Christian Pulisic, the big one, the one that you've been waiting for. Again, yes, I've already mentioned him in a couple of videos now. It's really on and off with Christian Pulisic, that, you know, you've got 50% of the fan base we're kind of in favour of the move. The old 50% are like he's basically American William. There's no point in getting him. His end product is dreadful. He can't do anything. There's much better options now. I agree with both points, if you ask me. Now, with Christian Pulisic, now before I do give my opinions, I'll, I'll tell you what the development said. The development, Sports Build, which is a German publication, news publication, they have reported that Chelsea have agreed a deal with Borussia Dortmund for 57 American dollars equivalent to uh, 55 Euro million euros, which is also equivalent to 50 million pounds, or sorry, 45 million pounds. Now, originally the figure was around 70 million pounds, but that is apparently only if Chelsea want to get Christian Pulisic in a joint chance to win it. But this agreement for around the figure of 45 million pounds is an agreement for the summertime. So this either means, you know, a multiple thing. So number one, if you do get Christian Pulisic, it means either Willian or Pedro will be leaving. This is my opinion. I don't think Moreno or the or the fan base will accept that he'll be a replacement for Hazard, etc. Now, what my worry is if he could be a replacement for Callum hudson Doyle. Now, Callum hudson Doyle has been strongly linked with Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, as you can say, but for me, it's not a very good deal. If you're selling Callum hudson Doyle and you're buying Christian Pulisic, for me, it's a very, it's a terrible move because Callum hudson Doyle, in my opinion, has a greater potential than Christian Pulisic. Um, he's been rated higher. In my opinion, he's even better than Jane Sancho, given the opportunity. Very bold of me saying it, but I generally do believe it. Christian Pulisic can become world class under the right management, the right group of players, the right environment. I really do believe he can, but it's been really unfortunate for Christian Pulisic because obviously last season it was really good for Dortmund. He got injured, he got a really severe injury. They obviously loaned out Jadon Sancho from Man City. He's been killing it in the Bundesliga. And it, Christian Pulisic just simply cannot be able to get into the game. He's in and out of the team constantly. He's still coming from the injury. He's trying to gain momentum and he's struggling at the moment. So you can't really blame him. And that is the main reason why it's a fee is going down for Christian Pulisic. So in a way, it could be beneficial for us. But how good will he be? Now, the, the other question is, if he's not getting to Borussia Dortmund's team, then how is he going to be good enough for Chelsea? Now, that's a very, very good question. But like I said, he was severely injured. He's struggling to get into the team and he's a huge prospect. Now, another issue that a lot, a lot of Chelsea fans raised was his end product. Now, William, as we know, has got dreadful end product. His end product is atrocious, full stop. He's good at dribbling. He's a good playmaker. He can get around. His, dis his decision making is iffy at times. But the one thing that we criticise William for is his end product. Now, Christian Pulisic, even though he had a very, very good season at uh, Borussia Dortmund, he still wasn't that great. Um, he scored a total of six goals. I think it was five in the Bundesliga, like two in the Champions League, etc. Um, and however many assists. Now, decent, but that's not like top level calibre. Now, I'm not against signing Christian Pulisic, but remember, Willian is 30 years of age and he's got pretty much the same amount of end product as Christian Pulisic. And Christian Pulisic is only 20 years old. He's a 20-year-old American winger who's already played for his national team. He's playing at the highest level in Germany in the Bundesliga. He was in the first team of Borussia Dortmund. He's rated very, very highly. And under an attacking manager of Mauricio Sarri, who's well known for developing young players, who is more of a coach before a manager. And he's got going to have more world-class players at Chelsea who can help him develop. We've got a very good environment, a very good infrastructure, a training ground, etc. And a very, very good attacking-minded coach who can support him. And he's only 20, so he can still be moulded. And his end product can be improved drastically. That's what I'm hoping for. It is a gamble, but he is only 20 years of age. He's 10 years younger than Willian, so I wouldn't really want to compare. I wouldn't really compare him to William whatsoever. Now, Sports Build, who have reported this, are generally quite reliable. They are a very reliable 
uh, news publication uh, development in Germany. So I would believe it is very, very true. We have been linked to Pulisic for a long time as well. So I can see it is still happening. But like I said, he's 20 years of age. He's a very, very hot prospect. And if he is signing, if he's coming in to either replace Willian or Pedro, I'm all for this move, 100% I'm for this move, it makes a lot of sense, Willian and Pedro, they're in their 30s now, the end product haven't been great, we've had that right wing issue, and another huge benefit of signing Christian Pulisic is his left foot, we know he's a right wing basically uh, forward, but he's got fantastic left foot, and he gives that versatility in the way the Sari ball works, Obviously, we have most of our, our gameplay, most of our attacking abilities down the left-hand side. So, right-hand side, right-wingers don't generally score, but it's the amount of playmaking, the ability to create spaces for other teammates and basically assist a lot. And I think Christian Pulisic, Moussa Sarri can mould Christian Pulisic into what type of winger he wants him to be. Remember, like I said, he is only 20 years of age. Now, his former USA teammate on Instagram, Eddie Johnson, uh, basically put on the tweets, also very good mates, Christian Pulisic put on his Instagram story saying, I'm very excited for your new challenge at Chelsea and I really want to see you play alongside Eden Hazard. So that's a massive hint. Take that with a pinch of salt, take that as what you will. And another thing as well, Mark Pulisic, Christian Pulisic father, has officially followed Chelsea Football Club on Twitter and Eden Hazard. So once again, take that what you will. These are all clues and hints. You know, we've got these people on Twitter who are... Uh, does he's like bird watching thing? So um, yeah. But like I said, I want to be against the move, but you know he's not my first choice. Of course, there are other right wingers that I'll one hundred percent go for. I put I'd rate Leon Bailey, Usman Dembele. These two would be dream targets. But I wouldn't be completely against Christian Pulisic. Like I said, he's twenty. He can be molded into a world class player. But like I said, it's a gamble. His end product is not the greatest. He's injury prone. Obviously, he's been injured a lot recently. So hopefully, it's something that we can risk. He's young. And hopefully that um, if we do sign him, I think he'll be a very, very decent player. Um, can be world class, will be a very, very hot prospect. And I'll be very happy with the move. I wouldn't be against the move, but I wouldn't be thrilled. I wouldn't be jumping up and down with joy if we sign Pulisic. I'll be just be very, very happy. It's a, de it's def it's a definite upgrade on Willian and Pedro. So I'll be very, very happy with the move. Um, but yeah, that's regarding uh, Christian Pulisic. Now, with the second story, it is regarding Cesc Fabregas. Now, yesterday there was a lot of rumours and reports regarding Cesc Fabregas about him going to AC Milan. We thought that Chelsea were offering him a brand new contract. But um, now they have come to an agreement that they're going to be terminating Cesc Fabregas' contract. Now, it's a bit of a tight one. It's a bit of a sticky one, this one, because Cesc Fabregas, before I mention anything, has been a fantastic servant for the club. Always well, achieved at the club, nice two Premier League titles, a League Cup and FA Cup. I thank him for his good service, him giving 110% game after game, being a top, top professional. So I thank you, amigo. I thank you very much, Cesc Fabregas. Thank you for your time at Chelsea. I used to hate you when you were Arsenal. I thought you were a bit of a prick. I'm sorry. But I've started to like you as a person. I've seen more of you. You've come to Blue Side London. You've won so much of us. You respect us. You're a top professional. And uh, we like you. I really, really like you. You're like I say, you're a top professional. You've done everything you could. Um, and if it, if it is true, if the rumours are true that Chelsea and Fes Fabregas are agreeing to terminate his contract and that he'll be joining AC Milan either in January or in the summer, then uh, good luck in the future because you deserve it. You've done so much for us. That Diego Costa says Fabregas link up at Chelsea in that 2014-15 season was so pivotal. Same as the 2016-17 season when we won the two Premier League titles. Despite being benched a season and in a season in the first season on the Conte, you've stayed, remained a top professional. You haven't sold. You've got on with the teammates, you've tutored others, you helped the youngsters. I've seen it all the time, like Sakan Hudson-Odoi, Doftus Cheek, always trying to improve the youngsters, always trying to support them. So I'm, I really, really appreciate all the work you have done for us. And I thank you for your next path in your career, in your, in your, in your near future, shall I say. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Will he suit AC Milan? Now, there are some complications with Fabregas going to AC Milan. Obviously, Marino wants AC Milan to actually permanently sign uh, Timore Bakayoko, he's had a bit of an inconsistent time, AC Milan, obviously AC Milan um, have an option to buy on Timore Bakayoko, I think it's around, um, if I can remember, £37.6 million, pounds, or I think 37, around £40 million, Euros. so around the same fee as when we bought Bakayoko from uh, AS Monaco, it's around that fee, so... Um, uh, we're having some difficulties. Marina wants AC Milan to sign back Yoko. If you're going to give Cesc Fabregas as well on a permanent deal, I think there's going to have to be an agreement where 
AC Milan kind of have to buy back Yoka for them to have Cesc Fabregas, so there's a bit of an issue there. But wherever Cesc Fabregas goes, his next path future, we thank you so much for all the work you've done. We appreciate everything you've done. Uh, I will say good luck in your next future career. Now, if you did enjoy this transfer video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.